All right, today we're going to talk about some really exciting things that are going on in Vegas right now. We're going to talk about the latest updates, the COVID updates, the mask updates, and a nice big update at the very end. So make sure you stay tuned the whole time so you get that update. All right, here we go. All right, if you're new here, I really appreciate you guys checking us out. I'm going to give you as much info as I can up to date. And please do me a huge favor, hit the subscribe and the like button. That helps me out, lets me know what you guys like, what I can keep making, and it'll help me grow. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for all your patriotism. I appreciate it. Now, real quick, do not change the channel. I'm going to say something real fast. I hope you don't mind. Check out VegasBornApparel.com. That's our new clothing brand line. You'll love it. I swear there's some really cool stuff in there. You will like it. All right, let's get right into the facts. So masks will be required in all spaces until 80, I think it's 60 to 80% of the Nevada population has become vaccinated. However, they are following the CDC's guidelines of not making masks mandatory outside for those who have been vaccinated. How they know if you've been vaccinated? Don't know, they're still asking those questions. So nevertheless, that's for you to follow. Outside, don't have to wear a mask. If you're vaccinated inside, you still do. Now, one of the biggest changes is on June 1st, the uh, governor, Sisolak there, has decided that he's no longer going to be making all the decisions for the state. It's going to be the counties that are now making decisions, aside from the mask mandate, which he's going to leave in place. So, with that being said, in a confusing twist, the counties are already making their decisions on what's going to happen, and they are doing it. So, Clark County, which is where Las Vegas is located, is the one we're worried about. Currently, what they're doing is you can be up to 80% capacity. However, the casinos, if they get 80% of their staff vaccinated, can be at 100% capacity. So tell me that money doesn't buy privilege. Anyways, so that's the way it is right now. Once they have reached uh, at least 60% of the population being vaccinated in Clark County, everybody can open up to 100%. And for some reason, they are changing the six-foot rule down to a three-foot rule. And a lot of casinos are removing their plastic barricades and dividers that we've seen. I do want to address the uh, elephant in the room. If you're a follower of the vlog, you know that I had a nice big beard before. Let me just tell you, shaving and trimming a beard yourself is dangerous. There was an accident. I ask that you pray for me in this tough time because I'm having to grow it back now. At least I didn't start all the way at the beginning, but nevertheless, it's not great. Several of the casinos have reached that 80% vaccination rate. Therefore, several of the casinos are at 100%. You can check, it's not really a big deal, honestly. Very rarely are casinos 100% anyways, but nevertheless, most of them are gonna be at that. They're really pushing hard because obviously they wanna be 100% open. A Couple of things coming back in June. We've got the Blue Man Group. They are coming back in June, they've been down. We've got Circus de Soleil. They are coming back in June as well because they have been down. We have Resort World. They are opening June 24th. I cannot wait for that. We are gonna be there. Do me a favor real quick. If you want a live stream from me during the opening, let me know down in the comments. Now, if you just wanna do a vlog, a regular vlog, and then I'll post it, comment that in the comments. And if you don't care either way, you know what? Just leave a comment anyway, that is appreciated. All right, moving on. Currently a rental car crisis in Las Vegas. If you look, Uber and Lyft are saying that Las Vegas is one of the worst places to get a ride right now. 50% of the rides at the time of making this were not being filled because they are so overworked. And they're having trouble finding drivers. Um, for whatever reason, you can decide on that. But nevertheless, it is really tough to get an Uber or Lyft. With that being said, there's lots of taxis that fill in the void, but they charge more. And I'm sure they're charging an upcharge, but I could be wrong. Rental car companies are charging up to five hundred dollars a day if you can get a rental car they are maxed out in fact if you look at this story here they have been using u-haul trucks locals or people coming in have been renting u-haul trucks in order to get around town because there's no rental cars it is ridiculous i'm not gonna make a huge video about why that is i understand it has something to do with the COVID. they sold off a whole bunch of their rental fleet and then all of a sudden now everybody's influxing in the city is healing itself and people are all over the place again so there's just not enough cars to go around right we have the sphere coming this is going to be just off the strip over off cobalt street it is going to be a performance venue it says um i 
driven past it. There's a lot of construction going on. This is an artist's rendering of what it's supposed to look like. They haven't put out a lot of information about it yet, so we're not 100% sure what all's going on. We will keep that up to date. Another reason to subscribe so that you can get all the updates when that comes in. All right, if you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the subscribe. The big news that I was talking about, all buffets are back open for self-service. A lot of them were open where they had to serve you, which is essentially just a restaurant this fast. They are now open for self-service and you're allowed to go up and get them. So all these buffets are gonna open back up, which is a big thing because Vegas is all about buffets and people come for the buffet. So that is a big deal and that's really awesome. Open that back up, getting things going on again. All right, at this point, I'm sure you're ready to click away and exit out and go on to the next video. And I really appreciate it. Do me a favor though, check out my videos below. I did do a walkthrough just recently. The Virgin Hotel, which is brand new, came open in March. March. Follow that. That's awesome. We'll be back there once they get all the pools open. Anyways, hit the like and subscribe and follow. We'll see you soon.